in the last three games, nine points and nine goals, and then a great win today. What do you think of it? Gritty, loads of courage defensively. Um, first half we were in control. Most of the patterns were ours without us really having. We were sort of all oh, bark, no bite, not enough quality. Um, but we persevered and to be fair to South End I thought they come out second half and they're just behind you there it's just blowing a gale now just start blowing an absolute gale and to be fair to them they put it on us they made us defend and we had to come up with the answers and to be fair to our players they did our goalie made two or three fantastic saves uh, when he needed to um, but different scenarios we can do better with we can put fires out earlier and stuff like that but we show character we show togetherness and uh, it's a great way to win sometimes 1-0 these are the huge huge games it could have gone anyway it was, it was, it was a toss of a coin uh, game I've got to be honest with you was losing a little bit of control in that second half more on us or on South End playing well? That's on us. It's always on us. Um, it's on us. Look, Danny's a huge loss for us today. He's a key player for us. Connor Stevens. Um, the plan was always to sort of leave him out today in any way because obviously he has sort of we specialise out with his walk. Um, so he's got a special schedule because of his, uh, his injury record. Um, and then I taught the boys to come into the team. Potsy did really well first half, a little bit sloppy second half. Um, Cropper come on did really well, uh, Coke or Starwart did really well coming to the team, done excellent as well. So there's lots of little different things that are in our head, but ideally, look, you want to pick the same team in the back, the same line as much as the uh, uh, defensive line as much as you can, and we weren't able to do that today for different reasons. So I think that affected our patterns of play. Um, Addy got through the game with a calf injury, he played with us, he's got a niggle in his calf, so fair play to him, and he's got the winner, so great rewards for him. So um, it's just little things for us where we can do better torn over the ball, players going in the right positions, being a little bit brave off playing out from the back, especially when they want to want to come after you. So if we can do things like that better, we control the game better. But full credit to South End, I thought their tactical changes were good. And then we had to counter that, we, we went to a 4-3-3 in the end, just to, to stifle it really. And in the end, we felt if we could get a throw in or we could get an entry, get a corner. I spoke to the players about this at half-time, we felt we could score from an entry or a corner against them. How important was it, what were your subs today? Yeah, huge, yeah, huge. Huge importance, uh, you need that strength and depth. I thought Jordan would work, Drew come on, just had bits of class, played three or four beautiful passes, slid it just through for the one on one at the end. Um, obviously, Cropsey come on, got that long throw, so Reese has been out for a long time, there's no way he'd be able to play back to back 90 minutes. And then Idris come on and showed his pace, his ball carrying, and made a brilliant tackle on the edge of the box for us as well, so showed his honesty as well there, so yeah, not, not bad players to have. Part of that back line, Reese or Johnson, he had, plays with so much energy, so much. Why he plays so well. How important is it on that right hand side? Yeah, look, I thought he got in some brilliant areas. We felt obviously a lad bridge for them is more of a winger and he doesn't want someone like Reese running that and we felt if we could feed him he, he would hurt them. But I thought his end product today was poor. And um, when he got in them areas he didn't put in any decent crosses and he knows he's better than that. So but he's getting in them areas and that's the main thing. So he come inside, he had a great skill, a bit of skill in the second half and their lad made a great block but he chopped inside him. Um, a little bit disguised there, so but he's a massive player for us. He's got power, he's got pace, and he knows the level inside out. What did you want to see from it, just Connor, when he came on for Reese? Just exactly what I see. And ball carry. That's what he's good at. He's dribbled in midfield there, made a brilliant, honest tackle on the edge of the box, tracking back. He had a fantastic run without the ball to get him one on one. And Jordan Maguire Drew slipped him in with a killer pass. I'd like to see him just slot that down the side of the goalie. Um, and they're the things that we, ju we judge Idris on. Uh, we judge him on the many goals he scores and creates, as well as obviously he's very honest as well. So, but he's still learning the game he's, and he's doing fine for us. Zach Brunt in the last few games has been, in my opinion anyway, really good. Um, how important is he to the team? Yeah, he's got quality. He's going to have dips because of his age. Remember, these lads are young. I think Idris is 23. Zach's just turned 22. So these are young kids. These, these aren't seasoned players. We haven't got seasoned players. Um, you know, like the Cokers and that, that I've had five and six hundred league games. We haven't got loads of them or in our group. So, yeah, so look, they're learning um, and we're constantly walking them to improve them. But Brunt, he's a brave player. He always wants the ball. He's got good goal, good vision, and he needs to score more goals as well. If he's going to go back to the, to the or, or achieve the heights, he can. And I think he can score more goals and he, he can create, he definitely create goals as well. It's been a great 2023 for Barnet. Um, how far have the squad come in terms of goals you've set for them in that? in the summer. We're right on track now, our points target. Uh, we're actually ahead of it now. The, the points target we set ourselves for the 46 games, so we're ahead of that now, so that's really good. So we're on an up, uh, upward curve, but this division's relentless. I think I was looking at it the other day, I think we've got like four overnighters in the next six weeks. Um, so we just can't drop our guard, there's a lot of good, good teams in it, and our next focus is now on to Altrincham. 
which will be a really tough place to go. And to be fair, it's about the Phillies got his teams out, his team out this year as well. They've done really well uh, this year as well. So that'll be another good game. And then finally, how high are your expectations going into the second half of the season now? Yeah, look, I say just reach the points tag and then see where it takes us. We can just only, listen, we can only look after our own stable. We can't be looking at anybody else. You know, eight weeks ago, it looked like we were in a title race when we were going to Chesterfield. And eight weeks later, we're not in it. So we just look after our own stable, take it one game at a time, keep our feet firmly on the ground and just move on. I know what can happen in this division because I see it happen in November. And I've always said that's when you see the true character of any football team is when you're losing. It's already the chant and sing when we're winning. But can our supporters, can our backroom staff, can they not, I won't say the word, but can they not like talk out of tone? Can they stay focused? Can they stay positive when we're losing? And that's the character of a proper, uh, that's the sign of a real good team. If we have that character, that togetherness, it's always positive. We know what our goal is. After 46 games, we've got to get a certain amount of points. Simple as that. Dean, thanks for your time.